in the state. As it relates to putting out fires of figurative terms, we're trying to do what we can to maintain the progress as it relates to the spread and transmission of COVID-19. Here in the state, you see the latest numbers, 2,955 individuals as of September 27th, testing positive for COVID-19. Uh, that is lower than the seven-day average of 3,367. We're seeing real progress in total number of tests beginning to go back up uh, as we've been able to navigate some of the challenges associated with the heat wave and some of these other fire complexes impacting our daily average of total number of tests conducted. But you see that number coming back up north of 116,000 over the weekend was north of 150,000 both on Saturday and Sunday. The good news is the positivity rate continues to trend downward. 2.8% positivity rate over a 14-day period. Uh, you could take a look at where we were 14 days ago at 3.6% positivity, and uh, now down to 2.8%. The seven-day is slightly higher than the 14-day, and I'm going to get to that in a moment at 2.9%. But nonetheless, uh, we're seeing um, a continuation of the decline uh, that occurs, of course, not surprisingly, not only in the positivity rate, but you're seeing the hospitalization numbers here in the state, a 20% decrease over the course of uh, the last 14 days. ICU emissions tracking similarly a 21% decrease. I say uh, all of this with a point of consideration and caution, though that caution has brought to bear, that consideration rather, not caution, has brought to bear uh, some progress with these county tier uh, reports. Tomorrow, uh, you'll get an update from Dr. Galley every Tuesday uh, on our tier status. Uh, I could preview that we anticipate uh, a number of counties moving uh, and progressing into the new tiers, which is a very encouraging sign. You've seen just in the last few weeks, uh, we had 38 counties in purple, uh, nine counties in red. Uh, you could see today uh, 25 counties in purple, less good news more in red, more in orange. Uh, we anticipate some more counties tomorrow uh, moving into yellow tiered status. So again, as we move away from red uh, into orange and yellow, more and more opportunity to modify uh, our conditions as it relates to business activity. Uh, but as I said, uh, there's some points of consideration and caution in these numbers. And I want to just focus on that briefly here for a moment. While it's true we have seen a threefold decrease in the total number of cases since our peak mid-July, we are seeing early signs that those decreases are beginning to slow down. They're beginning to plateau as it relates to total number of new cases. What concerns us more is not just the plateauing of cases, again, seen decrease, but a plateauing, uh, but it's some regions that are beginning to see an upward trend in what we refer to and what is commonly referred to uh, by uh, our health representatives, and that's the R effective. Let's take a look here at three different areas of the state where we are seeing some increases, not necessarily in cases, but in terms of the R effective. Here at 0.95%, you'll see in the Bay Area, Alameda, Contra Costa, Santa Clara, among many counties, you can see that trend line where the last few weeks, the R effective is beginning to march back up. That straight line is the R effective of one. Anything north of that, we can start seeing an increase in cases. We wanna keep that R effective below one currently in the Bay Area, it's now sort of snuck back up to 0.95. You can see here in the lower part of Southern California, and this is around Imperial, Orange, Riverside counties, elsewhere, uh, you can see similar trends. This is at 0.97 are effective in these assembles of counties, our uh, assemblage of counties that we've put forward. Those include uh, San Diego County as well. So still below 1%, the one, uh, the are effective one rather, uh, but nonetheless, uh, some concerning trend lines in the last seven, eight, nine, ten 10 days as it relates to increase of our effective. Let me underscore that trend of concern. And this is what we refer to lazily as the upper uh, Southern California area, more difficult to quantify when you see sort of the ensemble of counties that we included here, Central Coast, a little bit of Central Valley, um, and the sort of northern part of LA, what we refer to as Upper Southern California. Uh, this R effective is represented on this slide at 
1.02 in Kern, LA, San Luis Obispo, Santa Barbara and Ventura County when you pull them all together. So again, some concern and some points of optimism all mixed into one, but it is simply a reminder of what many had projected and predicted. And that is, we have just come through difficulty of a first wave, but the anticipation of a second wave of this pandemic into the fall season. Uh, I believe this morning, uh, there were 26 states that have seen an increase in their total number of cases. This is again what science had predicted. If we go back to our original form, if we're not cautious, if we're not vigilant, if we're not wearing our masks, if we're not practicing social distancing, physical distancing, and hand washing and hygiene, uh, these numbers can start to tip back up and that's going to put pressure on our tiered plan and put pressure on our ability to reopen not just businesses, but to get our schools open again, a top priority for each and every one of us. So I cannot impress upon people more the importance of remaining vigilant, the importance of continuing to do the things that all of you have done uh, over the course of the last month and a half, where we have once again tamed the growth uh, of the transmission rate in the state of California. And never over a 14-day period uh, did we present uh, north of 8% positivity rate, substantially better than the vast majority of states uh, in the southern part of the United States, be it Texas and Arizona, uh, obviously places that have highlighted uh, case rate growth uh, like Florida. Uh, but we did experience that increase. We were able to bring those numbers down below 3%, but this R effective rate is a point of caution and consideration as it relates to the work that each and every one of us must do uh, to continue to see a decrease, not just a plateauing of transmission rates.